Hey there, I'm Ray from the Readme team, and I'm excited to walk you through creating, editing, and publishing content for your enterprise group and related child projects. A key aspect of providing a great developer experience for visitors to your Readme Built Hub is ensuring that the information is always up to date and accurately reflects how to use and interact with your API or product. Maintaining a great doc site relies on your team's workflow for creating, editing, reviewing, and publishing documentation. This can be particularly important to manage if you have numerous child projects, multiple content streams, and disparate teams working to make your developer hub not only run, but shine. In this video, we'll go over some features that we've specifically designed with enterprise group workflows in mind. So let's jump in. All right, so here we are in a README enterprise group dashboard. This one's called Hoot HQ. Let's navigate over to the staging page. Staging, available only with README Enterprise, gives enterprise group admins extra reassurance and control over the content of their live developer hubs. With staging, project settings and content changes are saved to a staging environment for review, rather than instantly going live. This gives enterprise group admins a safe sandbox to preview changes across all their group's child projects before they're promoted to their live developer hubs. Your staging page is divided into two main sections, pending promotion and all projects. All currently staged changes in your group will be visible in the pending promotion section, where they are grouped by project, including a separate folder for enterprise group level changes. Only enterprise group admins have access to the staging page and can promote staged changes. If you want to learn all of the details on staging, we have a separate tutorial linked in the description below. That one goes over all of the features and benefits of staging. In addition to any changes made in any page within your README project dashboard, any changes made to content that is synced via the README API or CLI tool will appear in staging and not be live in your hub until they're promoted to production in staging. If you don't have staging enabled for your enterprise group, but would like to, reach out to your enterprise CSM and they can enable it for your group. Now, let's go over the flow for promoting changes from pending to production. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to be playing two different roles. First, I'll emulate the role of a project admin, let's say a technical writer, who has access to a child project dashboard where they can edit guides pages and more and then save those changes to staging but doesn't have access to the enterprise group dashboard where they can then promote those changes let's pretend i'm a project admin for albert's journey maps here i am in the guide section of this child project i'll make a few tweaks to this page and then save to staging here's where i'll switch roles in reality someone else in your team would be reviewing these stage changes in your enterprise group dash but for the purposes of this video and my inability to clone myself it'll just be me again this time acting as an enterprise group admin. Let's navigate back to the staging page in your enterprise group dashboard. All changes that have been saved to staging across your child projects and in your group are listed in the pending promotion section. I'll click show changes in the Albert journey maps section and see the change we just made. In addition to any other changes made across the project, I can review the changes. And then once I know everything's good to go, I'll click promote. I'll confirm that I'm ready to promote and then see the changes live in production in the hub. Here's a change that we saved to staging earlier. Another way to gather suggestions to your docs, either from your team or from visitors to your docs, is via our suggested edits feature. With suggested edits, your community can let you know when they think a doc is out of date or could be better. This is also a way for team members who don't have project dashboard access to still contribute to the editing process. Here we are in a guides page in the hub of Albert's journey maps. Let's pretend that earlier, while skimming through this page, I caught a small grammatical typo. I want to alert the team to this error so that it can be resolved quickly. This is a great use case for using our suggested edits functionality. You can locate the suggested edits functionality in the top right corner of any guides page in your developer hub. I'll click suggest edit and we'll be able to make the edit directly right here on the page. Because I'm logged in as a project admin, I have two options. I can either choose to save, which will save a change directly to staging, or I can choose the suggest option and go through the suggested edits flow. Let's try that option, since this is what project admins, project viewers, and even your end users will see and can do. When I click Suggest, I am prompted to add more context to the change I'm proposing. I need to provide a title and then can add a description as well. I click Submit and can either return to the hub or click View Suggestion to see the diff between what existed and what I proposed to change. I also have the option to make further suggested edits, preview how the change will look in production, and add a comment. Next, let's head back over to the product dashboard so we can see how to merge suggested edits. 
Suggested edits are aggregated into one page in your product dash rather than living within the guides pages where the edits were suggested. Here's the edit that I just made. I can click in and see the diff. I can preview it to see how it looks in the hub, suggest additional edits, which takes me back to the editing window on the hub side, and I can also scroll down to add a comment to alert other product admins. This workflow is helpful if you and your team want to discuss making changes to a page that is currently live and want to push all changes live at once. Once I'm satisfied with the proposed edit, I'll click Merge Edits. Since staging is enabled for this project, the change won't go live to production immediately. It'll be saved to staging, and an enterprise group admin will need to promote it to production for it to fully go live. Once it's promoted and live in production, whoever suggests the edit will receive an email notification that the edit they submitted has been merged. Versions, as the name implies, allows you to maintain multiple live and in-draft state versions of your API or products documentation. For enterprise customers, versioning can come in handy for bigger content restructuring projects or larger content migrations, especially when these changes are more involved than simply updating a few pages, in which case we recommend suggested edits. Let's say you have a significant amount of content that you want to keep in a draft state and batch to go live all at once. Here's the versions page in my project. I'll click Add New Version. I can fork a new version of my current live docs and have a drafting environment to do some major restructuring, whether it's reorganizing page categories, combining pages, deleting outdated content, you get the point. Other project admins can also contribute to this version. Plus, you still have your existing docs saved as your main version and live in production. And when you're ready to flip the switch over, it's as easy as renaming the version and toggling a few version settings. If you want to export a version to a PDF, an enterprise-only feature, you can also do that here too. Depending on how big your project is, it may take a few minutes for the PDF to download. And those are just a few of the top features to enhance your README editing and publishing workflow. As always, if you have any questions, you can reach out directly to your CSM, email our support team at support at readme.io, or send us an intercom message from any page in your README dashboard or hub. We've also linked the enterprise-specific help docs in the description of this video. Thanks so much.